All right, this is an explanation of the aftermarket fuel problem, fuel line problem with the MS290. Okay, so this was, this is the aftermarket fuel line. There is no steel insignia, nothing like that. When it has to make the 90 degree bend, you can see here, it makes, uh, it starts to kink. Now, it gets even worse when there's fuel running through it because it gets really spongy. And then it kinks even worse. This is the OEM fuel line from Steel. As you can tell, it has the Steel logo on it right here. When it bends, it goes into that 90. You can see it retains its shape and this is the material just feels a whole lot more sturdy this was a passable attempt but i wouldn't call it a a decent fix at all uh, i had put one of those little carburetor 90s in there but again i just feel like it, it impeded some of the fuel the 290 ran so much better so much cooler um with the original equipment so it was ten dollars actually probably close to eleven dollars at the steel store but when you're rebuilding your 290 go with the original equipment for the fuel line now the the 250 i just rebuilt the aftermarket fuel line's fine it doesn't have to make this really uh hard bend but again the ms290 aftermarket fuel line just does not perform like it should 